Life Change community. I'm very excited about this new series that we'll share together called The Promises of God. When I was a little boy, we used to sing a song in church, and the lyric said, I'm standing on the promises of God. Now, if you think about the kinds of places where you can stand, in quicksand or in the water or in an unstable place, standing on something solid and sure is certainly preferable. Now, here's something we need to know about the promises of God. He's always kept his promises. He's never broken one promise in all the history of the world. When God makes a promise, we can count on it. Imagine how it would change your life to believe that the promises in the Bible are not just for a bygone era, but they're for you and me right now, for your life and my life right now. God has many things to say to us, and he's made many promises to us, and we're going to take several of these, and we're going to be studying them together. Here's the first one. Psalm chapter 5, verse 12. And the Bible says, For you bless the godly, O Lord. You surround them with your shield of love. That's a wonderful promise from Scripture. King David understood that when he was far from the Lord, he had to rely on his own wit, his own willpower, his own strength, his own resources, his own wisdom, and those were not enough. When he was walking with the Lord and had the Lord's favor on his life, that doesn't mean he didn't have battles to fight or enemies to face. What it means is, Bathed in the love of God, he had the assurance that God was with him, that God's arms were wrapped around him. Have you ever needed to know that? Well, the promise is for the godly. doesn't mean the perfect. It means those who love God and seek to live for God. Then God's love is like a shield. It's like his favor. And even through the hardest of times, God's love never fails. That's a promise to begin with because that's a promise that can change your life. <laughs>